Parade watchers, it is time for a new history video. Today we're going to take a look at Macy's new longest balloon ever to make it through the parade and the parade's history. And this is Puff the Magic Dragon's new the Rusland, the Happy Dragon, for his appearances as a giant balloon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And for this episode, we're looking into his first version. We have to start off way back in 1960. Throughout the time where the Happy Triumph was prior to the crowd since the late 1960s to the 1980s. His first design represented the Russo and Dragon, who has been flying down Broadway since his new time to go to New York City while flying like a dragon. Strangely enough, this character appeared for 20 times in the parade. Despite being a new parade favorite who the new dragon and since a favor of mine has to go. Now for this balloon, it would surpass its new debut to the courtesy of Lynn Martin in the Russo Dragon's favor. Just by waiting to the next one, it's gonna make a new sense since we're going forward. By end its progress in 1981. And there were two accidents that this balloon had to do. From 1971, he was grounded due to his head being torn apart when he had to be removed. The only incident that I would only mention here was the 1978 parade, where his head was ripped off uh, twice by a streetlight this time, which caused him to be removed at Clown's Circle. Just waving goodbye to that happy. By following these footages and turn to NBC for YouTube, I was unsure to find all these footages for you as some of the pre-1983 broadcasts are some pieces of lost media for the parade's history, so I cannot show it to you because I don't have it. They even skipped him for the 1978 broadcast on NBC, but we do have five with 1972, 1976, 1979, 1980, and 1981. Uh, this poor guy has such a problem, Lauren. This makes the 11th time he's traveled the distance of the Macy Parade. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade almost from the very beginning. The first figure balloon flew in 1927. The dragon balloon passing by now has been a favorite for 16 years and it's the longest balloon of all. It measures 75 feet and yet the dragon balloon flies so well it requires the fewest numbers of handlers. Only takes 22 people, McLean. That's a great shot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Traffic jam here on the corner, but we're going to go around the corner now. There they go. And coming up next is the group that's come the longest distance, I guess, to be with us, the Kalani High School Marching Band all the way from Honolulu. And here they come. himself up a million years for this moment, it's the Happy Dragon, bright and green, a block long and six stories high. Now keeping up with his stature, he's been doing this parade longer than any other balloon. This is his 19th year. He's a real old timer and he's still going strong. 
Listen, he was introduced back in 1960 when many candy bars were still a nickel. <laughs> Times do change. <laughs> the happy dragon was stuffed with 6,000 cubic feet of helium early this morning. And if you don't know how much that is, well, that's a lot. <laughs> he didn't get that waistline by exercising. <laughs> As it happens, all these balloons are inflated right next to the Museum of Natural History. Good thing for him he didn't get stopped. And now off he goes down Broadway, if he'll fit. In the distance that. there. Is that who I think it is? Sure is. Look at that. It's Snoopy. <laughs> Theater Company of Jamaica, really special. And now here comes someone else who's looking particularly happy this year. But then reaching 21 is a pretty big day for anyone. And today, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade marks the 21st appearance of the world's most famous and popular dragon. It's the Happy Dragon, all 75 feet of good humor and spirit. Having now reached the ripe old age of 21, I suppose he's now free to go out alone in the evening and date whoever he chooses. So if you have an eligible dragon sitting around your house just moping, we might just be able to fix them up together in years to come. Who knows how many dragons we might have in the parade. A balloon named Linus, the Popeye Float, the first all children's theater, and Captain and Janiel, all coming up on NBC's Thanksgiving coverage of the biggest parade of the year. Marching into view is one of the favorite characters from NBC's Saturday lineup. Daffy Duck, the star of the Daffy Speedy Show. And coming out the street is someone who's certainly glad they're not living back in the days of old knighthood. Back in those days, it was pr pretty common for most nights when they got up in the morning before brushing their teeth to say, Hey, I'm feeling so good, I think I'll go, go out today and slay me a dragon. Well, if one of those tin suited fellows ever rode by here today, he'd be attacked by kids <laughs> with can openers. But you know those dragons, but a Thanksgiving tradition in this parade for 22 years. One thing you can't do is judge your sale by its reputation. And a charming character coming your way can keep up with the best when it comes to taking a stroll down Broadway. Even snails can stroll. Coming up after this message, Annie sings the Heidi Tighties March and the Nutcracker Dance. By 1901, Happy Dragon was brought back to promote its free parade year. As he was one of the retired balloons brought back to the parade that year to celebrate the parade's 65th anniversary. Hey, that's a nice thing. I like a patriotic thought. And that's why he was just the dragon. And this fella is the happy dragon. He lived to wag his little tail. Wag your little tail for us, dragon. Then again in 1992, he'll be promoting Pop the Magic Dragon on home video, where he'll be retired after that. Hey Willard, here comes 
He's the grand old man of Macy's Balloon family. He's the happy dragon, and he's been delighting parade watchers for over 30 years, all 72 feet of him. And in the early years, you know, the parade live animals actually rode in the floats, but the lions and the tigers and the bears, oh my, growling and roaring, scared the little kids a little bit. And so good old Macy's being tuned in said we better not do that and just have balloons instead. And we know what's happened since then. That's right, and I'm glad they went with the balloons, Willard. You know... Rockets, when the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade continues, live on NBC. For the first search of Happy Dragon, it's him following the parade with a total of 23 appearances. But a new Happy Dragon wouldn't stop there, as it's going to be a new one for Rex the Happy Dragon. <laughs> 